Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. Today, looking at Baker Mayfield, preseason, number three. What happened? Heard all sorts of stuff. Didn't have a great performance. Wanted to take a look for ourselves here. A lot of little quick throws, some good decision making, some issues with pass pro like preseason anywhere. A little bit of accuracy issues, but I'd say really he had some drop balls. He made some Baker Baker plays, to be honest with you. It looked like him. I, I like him. I'm a big fan. He's fun to watch. This will be a fun video to break it down and see exactly what happened. You never really know in preseason. There's all sorts of issues. You're holding stuff back, little personnel issues, but let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB School. All right, so first up, they're out there, come out and empty. Just nice little easy completion. See a lot of man coverage in preseason. Get the ball out of your hands. Super accurate timing. Give his guys the ability to make plays in space, doing what Baker's been doing for a long time. And again, then he's got a little bit of magic from the pocket. Breaks down for him a little bit. Again, able to get the ball out of his hands. Completion, easy. Spreading the ball around, these underthrows, little air raid schemes. Able to get the deal from the pocket. No pass pro issues. Get the ball out of your hands quickly. You don't want the quarterback getting hit in the preseason. But again, we get little tip balls like this. This is stuff you just don't see in practice. Again, hands up. Offensive line, got to find a way to get it down. Third and real short, throwing it from empty. Like their matchups. Again, wide receiver's there. Ball's going to be there. Ball gets tipped out of the quarterback's hand. Again, third down. Little 11 personnel, three by one. They're going to bring the pressure a little bit. Now, it's not Baker out there running an option route, trying to get open. you got to get off the ball, find a way to win. Can't round your route right there. So what I mean by that is the number two right here, he's just running what's really a simple option route. So he's going to come out, and he's probably got the ability to come up to the sticks and go either way. So he comes up. He Antonio gates it, bounces off the line of scrimmage a little bit, comes out. He needs to separate and win and give that chance to throw it. The ball's there. Might be a tick behind him, but really that's a catchable ball. He needs to win at the wide receiver spot. He rounds that thing, too, that I don't love. He makes that cut on the 35 and then rounds it to the 38. That's like a borderline banana. See that route at recess. DB is able to undercut it. Nice play on third down. But again, Baker Mayfield's not out there running the route. Again, right here, little man pick scheme down here at the bottom of the screen. So we're trying to get a little rub right here of the number two receiver. He wants to come and make this DB go underneath. Okay, If you go over the top, if this DB is able to go over the top of the rub, he's able to beat the ball to the location. So this wide receiver is going to come underneath. And he's gonna, the DB is going to beat him to that location. So you need to, as a wide receiver, again, this isn't on the quarterback. This is on the wide receiver. you got to make him go underneath you. He goes around. He's able to beat the ball to the wide receiver. There's nothing you can do. That's execution, not matching scheme. It's a perfect call. Third and short, man coverage, man beater, little RPO. Probably want to could have handed it off, too, for the first down up top. But, again, love the little pick play. Nice, accurate throw. Got to be able to execute on the perimeter with guys who you know might not necessarily be in there the first week on a Sunday. Again, third down. We got a little bunch formation. They were in bunch a lot here in this second quarter. Again, this is Baker Mayfield just being Baker Mayfield. Can't get him down. Keep fighting. Get a little completion. Yeah, it's only a three-yard completion. But again, that's a NFL defensive end, defensive tackle, a little twist game coming out. Not being able to wrap up the quarterback. Stay alive. Keep your eyes down the field. Eyes down the field. They're always with Baker Mayfield. Great job finding a completion. Get it going. Now we're in third and short. A little naked play. Trying to get the ball to the flat. But that's a beautifully thrown ball. That's got to be caught. Yeah, it's a tough throw. But that's a beautifully thrown ball. So love this play scheme. Get a little jet motion. So we're going to get jet motion right here. Coming across. We're going to get to the corner. This is where the ball ends up being thrown. So we're going to get this to the corner route, if I could draw it. Then we're going to get this little flat route that's probably what they're thinking for the first down. And we're going to get this little over route on the backside. So really good options, third and short. Great play. Not sure I would even show that in the preseason. But again, come out. This is a beautifully thrown ball for a touchdown on third and one. Just an absolute strike. you got to make that play. Yes, it's a hard. Yes, it would be a tough throw, but that's an absolute strike from about 40 yards away. Can't catch it for him. Now it's fourth down, short, come out, throw it again. Now he gets a little help from his wide receiver, a little one-handed catch. Again, a little RPO, man beater on the perimeter. Now we get that rub. Strong figures is out. A little fake collision, a little moving pick, NBA style up top, one-handed catch, beautiful job, first down, move the chains. 
Again, it's a combination of execution, technique, scheme, personnel. We're still in bunch, still in the red zone, second down. Nice job by Baker Mayfield again. Anticipating, a little spacing concept. All we're going to get up top is two wide receivers running little hook routes. Find a spot in the zone. Didn't see a lot of zone this game, so this is a nice call. Find a spot, anticipate, let it rip, put it on the shoulder. Beautiful throw. Timing-wise here, I mean, just splitting the difference between those two defenders. It's not wide open, but it's wide open in the NFL in the red zone. Really nice job. Completion inside the five. We got first and goal. Bunch again. Come out, little smash concept. This time we have all sorts of issues on the right side of the line. They're running what I would call a TE. So this defensive tackle to the top right here, he's going to come in and pick the right tackle right there. And we're going to try to get the end on the other side up underneath him. But what often happens on this time is when you this defensive tackle comes in for the pick, he's all of a sudden inside and is able to bounce off and get that sack. And that's exactly what happens right here. you got to be able to work these games. Preseason, you're going to see a lot of games like this. Pick. There it is. Right ta Left tackle starting to hold him off as best he can, not anticipating it. He's able to fall into it when Baker doesn't get it out of his hand immediately. Running a little smash concept down here to the bottom. No good options. Eat it. Sack. Red zone. Not that big a deal when you're in that tight red zone, but now all of a sudden makes a touchdown really difficult. Third and goal from the 12, 13. Not a lot of good plays. Empty. Probably the best thing you can hope for right here. Baker Mayfield getting out on the pocket, making a play, giving his guy a chance. Back of the end zone. Beautiful touch throw. I mean, just the you got to appreciate the subtlety and nuance of how difficult this is. Moving to your left in the red zone, throwing a touch pass, back line, high back five, and it touches your guy's hands. You'd love to see. That's a nice play by the defender, but you'd love to see him make that play. And the accuracy of that is just ridiculous. So to say he had a rough week or didn't play as well as he wanted to, he made some beautiful throws. They're fun to watch. I'm a big fan, Baker Mayfield. I'm excited to see what the Browns got to do this year. So thanks for watching.